true independence is when we are not enslaved by the desire to be praised, appreciated, respected, reciprocated by other people. Independence belongs to people who are sincere. The more worldly desires the more it steals our thoughts, time, energy and happiness, even though happiness and sufficiency belong to grateful people. An intelligent woman is one who is able to place herself well as a child, wife and mother and is able to read the potential for goodness wherever she is, do all the work to the fullest, because doing something halfway shows doubt, and doubt is the nature of a hypocrite. When humans are tested with difficulties, many survive. But when tested with ease, humans tend to be negligent so that very few survive. The most important alms is alms when in a condition of spaciousness and ability, so let's not delay giving alms until the time is tight. Malice will not change something for the better unless it will change one's condition to be miserable, despicable, and tend to wrong others. Work hard. Allah will not accept charity except sincere charity. Don't feel meritorious or the most noble, because actually all of it is only a gift from Allah. Pleasure for people who are tested with hardship because he managed to make it closer to Allah with self-evaluation, repentance and self-improvement. Many people have desires, but few are willing to work hard to achieve them. God's love is something high. So the ransom for that is of course very expensive. Instead of accusing each other, it is better for us to work hard to have good character and prove it by providing help to people in need. Cultivate a simple life and leave the culture of luxury. Even if you have to own goods, choose items that have added value, not added costs. Visionaries have the right strategy, can read potential and synergize it, and are able to motivate are the requirements for a great leader. Get in the habit of making other people's affairs easier as long as the convenience is good for him because anyone likes ease in all his affairs, two characteristics of a true entrepreneur, when looking for it, they really care about justice and honesty. Then after getting it, it is distributed for the benefit of the community at large. Be modest in life. Don't expect us to be able to enjoy life if we have deceived ourselves. What is left of us if we can't see ourselves? The worst human being in the sight of Allah is someone who is allowed to do evil as he pleases by many people because they are afraid of his crime. A righteous rich man has the ability to manage his wealth for the benefit of the people so that he is respected because of his generosity, not his wealth. Yan Jim Nastire or better known as Abdullah Jim Nastire or A.A. Jim is a preacher, singer, book writer, entrepreneur and founder of the Daru Tauhid Islamic Boarding School on Jalan Jajar Kalong Jarang, Bandung. A.A. Jim started preaching on national TV and rose to fame in early 2000. Wikipedia